Hey folks, how you doing? Herb Lynn here. Lesson is for how to identify uh, which products you have in inventory that are OTC, over the counter. So let's jump right into it. Um, I ran the inventory uh, for all the DCs uh, and then I left this screen open here. This is the inventory screen from a previous lesson. We ran this, we have the export, and we're ready to go. So as you can see here, this is the export for the inventory we have for all the DCs. Uh, I just highlighted these here in yellow. Um, I'm not gonna do the whole data set. Uh, no reason to, it would take a bit of time. Um, so we have our data set uh, and we're going to use in SAP what is the AUSP table and I am going to get SAP going in front of you I'm going to bring I'm working on a bunch of different screens uh, which is why sometimes there's a pause as I drag these over uh, and get this video going in the right direction. So again, we have my home screen. Um, I have it as a favorite right here highlighted already, uh, a USP table. Now, when I create my favorites, and you can do what you want, of course, but when I create a favorite, I always leave a notation of, of what it does. Um, there's only a certain amount of characters you have to do this, so you can't write a book. But if you leave yourself little notes as to what it does, um, you know, it'll be handy. There's uh, tons of transactions and, you know, I'm in SAP every day and even I can't remember every single transaction that I've ever used. Um, and so I always make a little note. So now then, so we're going to go in to the ASUP table and I should back out a second if you're not familiar with tables. So let's do that. And that's what's nice about having a video like this. You can kind of see when someone makes a mistake or wants to teach you something, you can just go back real quick, like I'm going to do now. So the general table display is, as you can see here, um, this Z0 SWT0039. So that's your general table display. Uh, you can type it in here into this box. Same way here, give you the same thing. So basically, we're going to go into general table display. We're going to type in OUSP. I always remove the maximum number of hits. It's just a constriction that um, you, you don't you don't need to have there. So I'm going to bring my data back just for a sec here. You can see now the thing with the OUSP table is uh, everything needs to be in 18 digit characters. So first of all, this download out of SAP here, if you see this little ticky mark, this little exclamation point, it means it's not a number. Um, and if you're creating VLOOKUPs uh, and things that Excel needs to read, Excel cannot read this currently. So we're going to convert this to a number. There's different ways to do this, but for this 10 items I have here, convert to number, done. Now, we need 18 characters, so how do you do that? Um, so I have these highlighted, Excel, SAP, a lot of places where you have data and analysis. There's 10 different ways to get where you want to go. This is just one of them. Uh, if you have a different shortcut or a different way of doing what I'm going to do now, have at it. More ways to do it. So I'm just going to right click. Uh, I'm going to format my cells. And we need to get that 18 digit character in there. And for this particular example, I'm going to go to custom. And then here where it brings up general, I'm just going to backspace, delete that out. Uh, and you're going to add zeros. All right. And just count them in your head, basically. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right. And then that'll add on to what you had there. Now, if this wasn't the number format, you would be adding zeros and it wouldn't do anything and you'll scratch your head and wonder why and that's why so you're gonna hit okay okay so now you have your 18 digit format that you're going to need for the os os a usp table let's copy those 
right? I'm going to bring my SAP screen back, my AUSB table. You'll see when you first open any table, you're going to have all these boxes are checked off by default. If you don't want them checked off, you'll see here in the top, green is to add all the check marks, and this blank one is to take them out. So for what we want to do with AUSP is just we're going to need four check boxes or four boxes checked rather, if that even, maybe three. So let's begin. So we're going to, we're going to need our object. An object is going to be your DU. And as I've mentioned in previous tutorials, if you have a list or even a short list, you want to add it here. You want to expand the list out with that yellow arrow. And when you have it copied in Excel, and you'll notice I have not flipped back to Excel yet. I have it copied. I've done a few other things, and it'll still be copied. You're going to hit this clipboard, right? And it even gives you, SAP will give you, if you hover, of generally what's going to happen. So you're going to upload from clipboard. And in this particular case, the clipboard was the Excel file I had open. So here we go. There are the DUs that we have. We're going to execute. Um, or clock it. Some people see it as a clock and they clock it. I call it execute. Other people might call it something different. And that's completely fine, of course. Uh, the internal character. So now this is where the AUSB table is important. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Because it'll bring you back values. Uh, so for this table, it brings values back. It won't bring you any um, it, it won't bring you back that other th tables will. Uh, and that's going to require some further explanation. Uh, but for now, this is the table to bring back the characteristics that you need to see if it's OTC or not. We're going to click on the yellow. Oops. I almost moved that over a little bit. Click on the thing. So I know that the character value is OTC. There's a way to figure it out. That'll probably be for a later lesson. But for this exercise, OTC, we're going to execute it. We're going to make sure it's checked. If it's not checked, SAP is not going to pick it up, of course. And then you want to bring a value back. So you want the value back. Okay. So we have this going. These to use one of its OTC in the character value. You want to basically see what that is. Okay. We have those three checked and we're going to clock it. Execute it there, right? And so these are the items that we put in. These are the characters, characteristic values we were asking about. And then you, you saw me check the box for the character value. And then you'll see. So this one is OTC. And then all these others are not. I picked the data set specifically because it was different items. You have a DW APA, you have some swab deterrent, a bunch of different things. And on face value, a lot of people could just figure it out and get that. Um, but we want to know for sure. Um, so that's why <clears throat> I, I did it this way. Uh, and, and you'll see this comes back. That's it. So now you know which ones are OTC. I've also mentioned in the past that exporting this to Excel uh, from SAP sometimes takes on a different life of its own. A lot of times you go up here and you, there's a list to export to Excel. For this table, uh, you click here, right, for the export. Um, and then this export process is pretty standard across SAP. You'll hit the spreadsheet and then you're going to, and I'm just going to let it pop up so you can see. Uh, and then from here, you know, pick where you want to put it. On your desktop, you want to put it in another folder. You're going to name it, and you're going to save it. I'm going to cancel this because I'm not going to save it. And there you have it. That's how you would see which of the products are OTC for all your inventory that is on hand. Hope it helps. And uh, look for the next lesson to see how to figure out which of the DUs OTC or not, but which of the DUs are active. Um, and, and we'll get to that in a, in a future lesson that we'll need the Mara table for that. Thank you. Have a great day. Reach out with questions. Take care.